In this tutorial, we are going to be working with a new selection tool. So I'm going to hold down the lasso and click on Polygon Lasso. Now the one thing to note is this tool can get kind of crazy. So if you're trying to make your selections and it's just going all over the place, to stop it, just hit escape and you can start back again. What I do suggest is zooming in, click on to the plus, I can zoom in. And we're just going to go around and we're going to make our selection. First thing that this tutorial is going to ask is that we go around the gentleman's bandana and make a selection. So grabbing my polygon and lasso tool, I'm going to click, 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 just going around his bandana. And one thing to note is your last point and your first point always have to meet. When you see that little circle there, it is telling you that you've hit your first point, so you can now click and you have a selection. What we're going to do is go up to the top, select inverse. And now the background is selected, his bandana is not. Now I'm going to go up to image adjustments and I'm going to pick desaturate and now his bandana is the only thing colored. So if I zoom out, you will see that I only have his hat as that red color. I'm going to hit Control D or Command D on a Mac to be able to deselect. And now I want to make a selection of his sunglasses. So again, I'm going to zoom into his sunglasses. Using my lasso tool, I'm going to go around the sunglasses This might not be the best tool to use, but it just gets you comfortable with the Polygon Lasso tool. And again, your first point and your last point have to meet. When you see that circle, you click. Once I have this, I want to make sure that I'm up at the top and I have this Add To selection selected. So if you have the first one, the new selection, click on the Add To, and that's going to allow me to select the other sunglasses. And now I have two selections. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and click on the paintbrush tool. I'm going to double click, find a color I like. So you can go up and down on this color wheel. And once you find a color you like, you click inside and you press OK. I can change my brush size down. If I want to just go outside on the perimeter, I can fill it in perfectly if I want a solid fill. I could even change this color and put a color dot in the middle if I'd like. So play around with it. When you want to deselect, you press Control D or Command D on a Mac, and that's deselecting. Now what we want to do is we want to select the background. So I'm just going to go around this man. And I'm just selecting outside of the canvas but just to make sure that everything on the canvas is selected. And again, your first point and your last point have to meet. So I see that circle, I can click. So now I have the whole background selected. What I'm going to do is I am going to go to filter and play around with the filter. I don't want to blur it. If I want to distort, I can play around with the distort. Maybe I want to ripple. If I move it over, you can see what happens when you ripple it. I can go back up and try a different one. Maybe I want to solarize, change that up. Maybe filter tiles. There's a lot you can do with this. Just play around with it. When you're happy, Control D deselects, 
and there we go. So have fun. Give it a try.